another yoga session. Today we're going to focus on our lateral chain. Okay, now that's not just the, the sides, it's even outer thigh, IT band, even the side of the neck. So we're going to hit the entire side body. So I want you to go ahead and just start comfortable seated position. Sliding off the edge of your bolster if you choose to use one. Uh, go ahead and claim your space, dropping into the earth. We'll lift up through the pelvic floor, engaging the Labanda. Scooping your tailbone under just a little bit for Uddiyana Bandha. Holding these two locks. Lengthening through the spine, roll your shoulders back and down away from the ears, sliding your hands from the knees to the hips so that your chest is broad, your collarbones are long. You're bringing more awareness to the back body. Now I just want you to go ahead, as you sit tall, focus on the sounds of the breath, the slight constriction of the back of the throat for the ujjayi pranayama. Just allowing the sounds of the breath to wash over you, creating an intention for the rest of your practice. It's okay if things go wrong. It's okay if we mess up. We are just, just here for the ride, being present, taking up space. And it's the intention that you put into things. We can't control an outcome but we can control the intention that we put into the world, into our practice. So again, I want you just to claim your space. Dropping your chin towards your chest. We feel the length in the back of the neck, running down the spine. Go ahead and take the right ear to the right shoulder. Okay, so we're already starting to get into that lateral chain, just feeling the length in the side of the neck. Now, from here, you bring your chin back to your chest, come back up. We're going to change it just a little bit before we can go to the second side. So your left hand, I just want you to bring it behind you. Maybe just letting it drop to the floor, but it's not to the side of your hip, just behind you. Now from here, you're going to take your right ear again towards the right shoulder. It's a little bit different feeling that in the side of the neck, but from here, your chin, we're going to drop it towards your armpit. Oh, that changes everything already. Bring the right ear again to the right shoulder, coming all the way back up, and we'll switch sides. So first thing, chin to your chest, left ear to the left shoulder. Just noticing how that feels, bringing your chin back to your chest, bringing your head upright. Right hand is going to come behind you. Again, not directly out to the side, just a little bit further behind you. And then from here, you can go ahead bringing your left ear to the left shoulder. I got an itchy boy behind me. <laughs> okay, so this is already different. So you're gonna bring your chin towards the armpit so that we're feeling that pull. Full deep breaths. Bring in yourself all the way back up and we'll release. Roll your shoulders again back and down away from the ears. Okay. Now, I want you to think about your rib cage. Okay. First, we're going to lengthen as if we're on a stretcher from the tailbone to the crown of the head, lifting up. Now, from here, I want you to imagine that there's a string on your rib, so you're going to pull it towards the right. Okay. So we're not crunching into the side body. You're lifting and leaning to the side. Okay. Now, from the hip to the armpit, we're keeping that length as you take your right arm towards the floor. We still are having that link. Your left arm is going to reach up. Lengthening. Bottom armpit comes forward, top shoulder rolls back. Now, we'll have the, I don't know if it's an instinct, but we might have that desire to crunch into the side body to think, look how far I'm getting. I want you to reach your fingertips out further. That bottom side, instead of crunching, making a rainbow, reach your hip and armpit away from each other. Keep driving that left hip down, reaching up, 
So you're opening up through the side body without collapsing. And from here, we'll come all the way back upright. Lengthen the body. Pull your side towards the left. Drop your arm. We're going to reach up. Again, we don't want to collapse. We're still pulling. So your hips are in one place. Your rib cage went over. You're going to lift up. And again, watch that we don't get into this habit of, even though that feels really good on the side body, we don't want to collapse the bottom side. Lengthen it out. Reach your hip and armpit away from one another. As though they're not friends. <laughs> Creating a lot more length. Full deep breaths. We're going to come all the way back upright. Lengthen through the torso. Let's go ahead and twist to the left. Taking your left hand behind you. Directly behind so that we're not leaning back. Tall, 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 tall spine, wringing out your torso, so you're squeezing the side body. Then you can add your arm to push, looking behind you. We're going to come all the way back to center, taking your arms out to the sides. Let's reach. Hips stay steady, but you're going to reach from one side to the other. Abs are tight. It's almost like your, your best friends are saying, come with me. No, no, no. So we're feeling a lot happening around the waist. Coming right back to center. Tall as you can get, you're going to twist to the right, taking your right hand behind you. Left hand to the outside of the leg. Tall as we can get, you're wringing out your spine, squeezing, using the torso to twist. Then add your arm. Tall as you can get, then look behind you. Full deep breaths. It's a little difficult to breathe in a twist, so we want the side body to expand. So think of trying to breathe up into the upper part of the ribs, into the upper back, and we'll come all the way back to center, arms again out to the sides, and you're going to be pulled from side to side. So we're still keeping the side body long, but this is going to help so much with balance and strength. Come play with me. No, come play with me. <laughs> and we're going to come right back to center. Taking your arms all the way up, bend your elbows, grab hold of your triceps, lift as tall as you can. Now, if your shoulders are very tight, um, you might grab hold of your wrists, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is just check, taking your head maybe to one arm, then the other, okay? Lifting tall. You're going to lift up and over to one side. Let your head hang in that arm. Now, did we just crunch into that side, or can we lengthen? You see the difference? Crunch or extend. So I'm strengthening both sides of the body while I lengthen through the lateral chain. Coming all the way back up. Lift your heart, shoulders are back and down, long, long spine, and we're going to lift up and over to the left. Again, watch that we're not leaning to crunch. Even though it feels really good for the side, we want to keep both sides long. And you can let your head just rest in your arm. Remember, if your shoulders are tight, it might be that you're just holding on to your arm. Full deep breaths. You're going to come all the way back upright, reaching your arms up. And taking your hands back behind you, maybe lacing your fingers together or holding hands, shoulders roll back and down away from the ears, maybe straightening your arms. And yeah, we're opening up the chest a little bit. Hug the back of the heart, and you're going to lift up and over to one side. Now, again, there's that crunch where we're opening one side of the body, or we can lengthen, bringing your bottom armpit forward, top shoulder rolls back, so it's the side body that's really opening. You're going to inhale to come all the way back up, tall as you can, up and over to the second side. And again, make sure that we're not leaning, crunching into that bottom side. Reach it away from the hips. Full deep breaths. It changes everything. It brings so much more strength and balance.
to the torso. Now this is going to help you so much in everyday activity, whether you're a runner or whether you're just having to, to run errands. Let's go ahead and come all the way up. I want everything opens up. Okay, so from here we're going to imagine that there's a rope that we're going to climb. So it's your reach. Now, as you reach, it would tend to crunch. You're going to keep it a little bit longer and just try to reach longer and longer instead of uh, crunching into the side. Reaching up higher. One armpit comes higher. One armpit comes higher. But we still are keeping that link in both sides. Holding here. Bending your elbows up to the side. Hands behind your head. Lift your heart, shoulders are back and down. I want you to lift and lean. And again, it's not the crunch to the side. We are leaning. Inhale, lift and lean to the second side. Again, you're not crunching. So even your elbows should be parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can come right back to center and release. Okay, so from here, I want you to reach your arms forward. Hips are going back. So I want you to walk your hands over to the right as far as you can. Reach your heart long and let your head drop. So we're feeling this running down the back side on that left side. Let's bring shoulder over shoulder. Now, we could crunch into that bottom side, which I'm really exaggerating right now, or we could lengthen it out. Now, I'm still a good, far, um, a good deal over, but I'm not crunching. There's a big difference. Rotating your shoulder, release it back down. You're going to come forward over to the left, second side. Reaching out, reaching your heart as far forward as you can. Let your head get heavy. So now that whole right side, the lower back coming all the way down, lengthening. Keep reaching the body long. You're going to bring shoulder over shoulder. And again, we don't want to crunch into the side body. We want to lengthen. Since you've given us a little bit more space than we did earlier. Let's go ahead, rotate back to center. Coming back home, walking all the way back up. Shoulders back and down. Now, if you're sitting on a cushion, push it back behind you. We've got another twist. Okay. So I want you again to anchor through the sits bones. Lengthen through the body. Arms are out to the side. Palms are up. Bend your elbows. So we've got a washing machine that we're going to come into. Lifting through the pelvic floor. Scoop your tailbone under. So this is a Kriya cleansing exercise in Kundalini Yoga. It's also uh, sometimes used in Pilates, but nice and tall. You're going to twist first to the left. So you're going to inhale, lengthen the side body. Exhale, second side. Inhale, exhale. So I'm going to sniff, blow, sniff, blow. Now your head is just going along for the ride. Try to get taller each time you twist. Armpit away from the hip. A little faster. Sniff, blow, sniff, blow. Keep trying to lengthen through the spine. Now, if this is a washing machine, we're going to go for a spin cycle. Here we go. And sniff, blow, sniff, blow. Slow it back down. Slow it even further. Long spine. Right back to center. And we're going to release. Shoulders again back and down away from the ears. Right ear to the right shoulder. Bringing your chin towards your chest. Left ear to the left shoulder. Bringing your chin towards your chest. Bringing your head upright. Left arm is going to come behind you. Hello. Lifting your heart, right ear to the right shoulder. Bring your chin towards your armpit. Right arm's going to come up. And we're not actively pulling, just letting the weight of your arm get heavy. 
So you're gonna be feeling that all down the neck, the back of the neck. I need you today. We're gonna release coming all the way back up, right? Right arm is gonna come behind you. Tall, tall, tall as you can get. Left ear towards the left shoulder. Drop your chin towards the armpit. Taking your hand towards the head without pulling, just feeling that length. And whoa, it's a lot of length in the side of the neck, the side to the back of the neck. And we'll slowly release. Okay, from here, we're gonna lean forward. And we'll come to all fours, curl your toes under, push back into a squat, letting your upper body hang. Full deep breaths. You might even walk your feet closer together. From here, you're gonna walk your hands towards the right. And we'll go ahead and bring your left elbow towards the ceiling. Now, we could think of crunching into that side body or lengthen it. Reaching up, full deep breaths. Squeezing the inner ankles towards each other. We're going to release, coming back down. Taking your hands over to the left. Finding your balance. You're going to press your hips slightly towards the right. You might bring your right elbow up. And again, we don't want to crunch, but reach away to extend. Full deep breaths. And we'll release. Lift your hips. Now, from here, we'll go ahead and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. I want you to step or hop your feet wide. And from here, we'll go ahead and fold. Walking your fingertips back, maybe in line with the toes. Just allowing your head to hang heavy. From here, press down and straighten your arms again. And I want you to walk your hands forward just a little bit, thinking about your hips, okay? So your right knee is gonna bend. Notice how your hips, we're trying to keep it in one plane. You can straighten, bend your left knee. So your hips are just kind of shifting. So it shouldn't be this happening, okay? Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. So from here, keeping your toes turned towards each other slightly. You're going to push your feet away from each other. And we'll slowly bring your hands to your hips. Roll your shoulders back in and push your feet away from each other as you come all the way up. You're going to turn your toes out. Heels turn in. Taking your arms out to the sides. Let's go ahead and soften the knees. Knees go in the same direction as your toes. Now, your friends again, I want you to play. Come with me. No, come with me. So you're just reaching from side to side. Coming right back to center, release your arms. Now, here's a trick. We're gonna get lower. Upper body's gonna do a lot of the work. So what I want you to do is take your hands, towards your thighs or towards your knees, you're going to start to sink. Now, arms are staying straight, so it's almost like we're shrugging. A little turtle in its shell. You can press down to come out and drop. But you'll notice we get a lot, lot, lot lower. Full deep breaths. You're going to push down to come all the way back up. Now. From here, let's go ahead and turn your left foot in. Your right foot, we're gonna turn it all the way out. That's the direction we're wanting to go. So your knee and your second toe are in one plane. You're gonna extend your arms. Again, taking up space. Your front knee, we're gonna bend the same direction as your second, your second toe. Reaching out long as you can. Now, your friends are still wanting to play. So you're gonna reach and reach. So this is very different for our warrior too. To reach 
being pulled from side to side. Now hold it here. You're going to bend your front elbow. Drop your forearm towards your thigh. Now here's what a lot of us do. We'll crunch into the side as we reach up. Okay? Well, we've got that long line from the crown to the heel, but if we extend this side body, it's so much different. So we don't want to crunch. We're trying to lengthen the whole time. Again, like you're being pulled here. So we've got all of this length in your side body. Bend your elbow, keep that length. No crunching, keep the length as you reach up. Maybe bending your front knee a little bit more. And we'll come back, warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Turn your right foot in, your left foot out. It's the yoga hokey pokey. Okay, so you're bending your front knee, going in the same direction as your second and third toe. Your friends, again, want to play. Come with me. No, come with me. So you're kind of rocking in between those two lines. So from here, you're going to reach. We're not crunching. Reach. Shoulders are still in one plane. Bend your elbow. Drop. So again, we're not crunching. Even though we've got that long line, we want to extend. Both sides are long. And then reach up. So with both sides long, you'll notice that we can bend that front knee a little bit more. It's a little bit easier. So if we were crunched, we would say, oh, well, I'm already as far as I can go. No, you're not. Lengthening both sides of the body. Inhale, warrior two. And we'll straighten your front leg. Turn your front foot in. Your back foot up. That's what it's all about. Okay. So from here, we're going to keep the legs straight. The same thing we've been doing, that play with the side body. A lot of times it's nice to do this at the wall. I want you to reach as far as you can. Now, we're keeping this, this length. We don't want to crunch into the side body. Okay. So for triangle, it's all about those long lines. It's not about touching the floor. Because we'll see this, which from the side, or from straight on, um, instead of keeping your long line, it'll be this. Like, oh, look how flat I can touch the floor. This is not triangle anymore. <laughs> so we want to stay in a nice straight line. Okay. The goal is not to touch the floor. The goal is to lengthen reach towards the heavens. We want to get as tall as we can. So your arms are out to the sides. Come play with me. So you're lengthening. Maybe you're pulling your hip behind you. This side rib is pulling out. So you're being pulled in opposite directions. You can stay here, dropping your arm, reaching up. This is a beautiful triangle. To come lower, reaching out a little bit further. Again, we don't want to crunch into the bottom side. Taking your arm down, reaching up. Lengthen the hip and armpit away from one another. And we'll come all the way back up. Front foot turns in, back foot turns out. Long lines. Legs are straight, you're pushing your feet down and away. Come play with me. Your hip is being pulled this way. Your side body being pulled this way. So even if all we do today is just kind of that reverse pull. This is so good for the body. We're strengthening and lengthening. It's a lot of core strength just to not collapse. Okay. So really reaching. You can take your arm down, reaching up. And again, making sure that we're not crunching into the side. You want to reach your armpit and your hip away from each other. Full deep breaths. Again, the idea is not to reach the floor, it's to reach up and out, lengthen. And we'll come all the way back up. Turn your right foot in. Sorry, your left foot. 
we're going to fold. Walk it out wide, downward facing dog. We walk out about as far until we can start to feel the calf muscle activate. Push your hands down and forward. Full deep breaths. Let's shift forward to plank. And downward facing dog. And walk ourselves all the way back. Lengthening the body. Raise your face, your chest to come all the way out. Let's go ahead and take your right foot, turn it out. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is just to soften your front knee. I should reach long. Taking your hand down. Let's go to the outside of the foot. Okay. Now I don't want your shoulders to twist. I want you to keep shoulder over shoulder. You're going to hop your back foot in, lifting up. Side body, long, especially your bottom side. We don't want to crunch. We want to lengthen. Bend your front knee. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg, turn your right foot in, your left foot out. That's why it's all about. Okay, softening your now front knee. Yeah, almost the cartwheel down. We don't want to crunch, we want to lengthen. And you're going to hop your back foot in, lifting up, lengthening the side body. Again, we don't want to crunch into the side body. We want to lengthen. Another way we can do this is with a chair. So much length and space. And we'll step back. Warrior two. Coming up. Turn your feet forward. So if you want to try that close to a chair, make sure it's up against the wall so it doesn't slide. If you want to try it to a couch, we will. I'll give you time. You're going to inhale and exhale. Fold. Walking forward. A wide downward facing dog. Inhale, shifting forward. Wide plank. Exhale, wide dog. Walking your hands back to center. Hold on to your hips. Lengthen the torso, shoulders back and down. Push your feet away. Arms out to the side. Cleaning your space. Right foot turns out. Bend your front knee. Come play with me. No play with me. No play with me. Bend your elbow. Drop it down. Side body is not going to crunch. Keep it long. Full deep breaths. You're going to inhale to come back up. Turn your front foot in. Back foot out. Bend your left knee. Come play with me. No, come play with me. Reach, bend, drop. Again, watch that we're not crunching into that bottom side. Reach your hip and armpit away from each other. Full deep breaths, and it makes it so much easier, just that little adjustment. You're gonna come all the way back up. Front foot turns in, back foot turns out. Lengthen through the side body. Hips and ribs in opposite direction. And we'll lower it down. Watch that the bottom side doesn't start to crunch. Lengthen it. You're going to come all the way back up. Front foot turns in. Back foot turns out. Hips and ribs in opposite directions. And we'll drop it down, making sure that you're not crunching. Keep it long. Inhale to come back up, front foot turns in, back foot turns out, bend your front knee. Now here's where we've got our couch or our chair close if you wish. If we don't have a block or a bolster, lengthen, release. You're going to hop your back foot in just a smidgen until you can push into your front foot. Lengthen, hip away from armpit. 
Soften. The half moon. We'll come back up, turn your right foot in, left foot out. Again, if you prefer to use the couch or chair, that's fine. You're going to bend your front knee. Hip and ribs lengthen away from each other. You can release down, hop, to come up. We still get this length, so we're not crunching. Reach it away. And we'll soften to come right back out. And turn your feet in. We'll release. Let's go ahead and take your right foot, sorry. Yeah, we'll take your right foot all the way to the left. So we just kind of swung it. Okay. Now, from here, you're going to cross your right ankle over the left. Now, I like doing this at a door jam too. Especially if it has a lip, you can grab hold. If you're squeezing your legs together, lengthen. Now, from here, I want you to go ahead and imagine your right arm is up, left arm is down. You're holding a big ball, okay? Long spine, hips. Your right hip is going to go to the right. Your left rib, again, you're going to lengthen in opposite directions, up and over. So we should feel this all the way down to the hip and even lower. Full deep breaths. Coming back up and cross. Left ankle over the right. Okay, now fall. Squeeze your inner thighs together. So now that your left leg is forward, your right arm is down, you're holding your ball. Left arm up, right arm down, lift. You're gonna pull as you lean. So even your bottom armpit can come forward, your top shoulder can roll back, and you're keeping the length throughout the side body. Full deep breaths. And we're gonna come all the way back up. Let's come to stand somewhat in the middle. Now, let's see if we're gonna kick any furniture. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> what we're gonna do is a curtsy. Still getting that whole side body, that uh, lateral chain. So, what I want you to do is your right foot, is gonna reach behind your left. Arms go out to the sides. I want you to reach, reach, reach. Come towards the floor. Continue to reach all the way, all the way, all the way. Woo! Now, from here, you can flatten your hand, come into a fist if it's more comfortable. Now, is this happening? Which, even though the shoulder is coming up, it feels really nice to the side body. But I want you to push down. Oh, side body just is opening up like crazy. Still reaching away. So again, there's a big difference from here to here. Full deep breaths. And we'll release the arm. You're going to push into this leg. We're going to come all the way up. As gracefully as we went down, right? Oh my gosh, it just got so delicious, so juicy inside that side body. So it's not just the muscles, but we're getting into the fascia. Okay. Second side, left leg. We're going to curtsy. Oh, you know, just it's so nice to meet you. Push your left leg further and further away, reaching down. You're going to go ahead and come down to your hip. So you're reaching through your left heel. Watch your shoulder. Again, it's so easy for this to happen because we feel everything happening in the side body. But once we push down that shoulder to lift up, and we don't want to sit back. We're on the side and then pushing. And reach. It's a different pose now. Full deep breaths. Oh my gosh. And from here, push into your right leg. Come all the way back up. Oh, side body. Okay. From here, crossing right leg over the left. Now, we're going to fold and twist. So it's really going to get into the back sides. 
So you're going to lift your heart, hinge at the hips to fold. Walk your hands towards, if your right leg is forward, to the left. Oh my gosh! All the way down. Woo! Okay, coming back to center. Push your legs into one another. Scoop your tailbone in there. Roll it up. Uncross your legs. You're going to take left foot over the right. Okay, squeeze your legs together. Hinge from the hip. Full deep breath. Walk your hands. If your left leg is forward, you're going to walk your hands to the right. So you're walking away from that leg. Oh my gosh, this side is so much tighter. And you'll have that one side that is. Woo! We're going to come all the way back to center. Scoop your tailbone and push your legs towards each other. Anchored to come all the way up. And cross the legs. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so from here, we're going to come down to the floor. Let's curtsy again. Right leg, you're just going to take behind the left. You're going to come all the way down. But this time, instead of keeping everything crossed, let's come all the way down. And we want to get your body in line with the front of the mat. Okay? So you want to be parallel to it. We're going to stay parallel. What I want you to do is your left hand, I'm on my right side, so I'm going to take my left hand to the floor, thinking about where your armpit is, your bottom armpit, I'm going to take my elbow there. Okay. So I'm right underneath the shoulder. Now, this is a good balance in my little opener too. If what we just did wasn't well, too much balance, <laughs> this is going to be nice. Okay, so you're stacking your feet one on top of the other. I don't want you to let your hips drop back. You're on one plane. Again, same rule for the shoulder. We don't want to slump into this. You want to roll it, push it away. So maybe, maybe something smells bad here and you're coming away from it. Okay. Bring your arm alongside the body. So this is a really good opener for the side body. You're balancing. You could even take your top leg up. You're pushing your legs away from each other. And we'll release. Now, we go a little bit higher. Okay. Same rules. We don't want to slump. So think about where your elbow is. You can use your left hand as an anchor. You're going to take your hand where your elbow is. Maybe you see that divot. Now, first thing, we don't want to sink back. You're bringing your hips forward. Second thing, you don't want to collapse into the shoulder. You're reaching away from it. Oh my gosh, that whole side body is open. So what we can do is to reach your arm, maybe reach your leg up. This is a lot going on. Woo! Full yummy. And we'll slowly release, bend your knees. Let's go ahead and swing that around to the second side. Okay. Come on, Charlie, you want to do yoga with mommy? Okay. So first thing we're going to do is to lie on your side, bring in, bring in your body parallel to the edge of your mat. From here, you're going to bring, thinking about your bottom armpit, you're going to bring your elbow to where your bottom armpit was. Ah, now you can't get me. <laughs> Watch that your shoulder, we don't collapse. We're pushing away from the shoulder. Okay, so this just brings a lot more length to your body. Also, we want to make sure we're not doing a hula dance, so you don't want your hips to sit back, sink back. You want to come forward. Okay, so we could be here just ah, oh, it's a nice day at the beach, or we're very active, very long. Okay, top leg, reaching your arm. lengthening through your side body. So we could just stay here. This is wonderful to strengthen your core, to practice balance, to really focus on that lateral chain. We can go a little bit further. Where your elbow is, that's where we're going to take our hand. So you can use your top arm as an anchor, push down to come up. 
again, same rule. We don't want to sit back and our shoulders forward. Bring your hips forward. Press your shoulder down. Kind of a little Iron Mermaid type um, pose. And that side body, oh my gosh. From the outer thigh to the armpit, it's awake. Lift. Reach. Hmm. Full deep breaths. This is so hard. And it's easy to let your hips fall back. You need to keep, keep everything in a nice line. Breath us release. And then bend your knees. We'll come up to sit. Again, full deep breaths. Let's lift up. Who wants to play? Do you want to play? Do you want to play? This is so much easier than it was when we were first here. Release your arms. Left arm comes behind you. Chin toward your chest. Lean to the side. Chin towards the armpit. Bring your arm up. Bring that side of the neck all the way down. We will release. Right arm comes back behind you. Tall, tall spine, chin towards your chest. Take the left ear to the left shoulder, chin towards the armpit, left arm comes up. We're not pulling, just letting the weight of the arm open you up all through that side of the neck. And we'll slowly release, coming back up. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Let's reach forward, bringing your arms to the right. Let your head drop. And over to the left. Ooh, yeah. Coming all the way back up. So there's one more thing that I want to do for the IT band before we come into our final relaxation. Or before we start really cooling down, because we're already feeling pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so this one, we're just coming into a low lunge, okay? So you can rock, and we'll just turn to one side. I want you to go ahead and take your, well, since I'm facing you this way, I'm going to take my left leg forward. Now, I'm reaching it out as far as I can. The leg is almost straight. Toes curl trying to bring your toes towards you. Now, again, we don't want to round. Reach your hips back, your heart comes forward. Somebody on your left side, if your left leg is forward, your left side, somebody's calling your name. So what would you do? You would turn to say, what, what do you want? So your left foot goes to the left, your hips go to the right. Oh, so it's almost like you're crossing. So you can see that person behind your shoulder. What did you say? We're out of toilet paper again. So we feel that pull all the way up. Full deep breaths. We'll come right back to center. Let's go ahead and release. Uh, hip flexor stretch. I want you to curl your back toes under. So we're going to go to the second side. You're going to lift up. What I want you to do, uh, since my left foot is forward, I'm going to go to my right. So you're going to see my back side. And I'm going to twist all the way around to the second side. Bending your knee. Let's test to make sure that we're good here. So you're going to straighten your leg. If you straighten your leg, your hips are going way far back than your, than your bottom knee. That's too far. So you want to reach your front leg as far forward as you can. Your hips are over that knee. Okay. Make sure that we're not rounding. We're extending. So you curl your toes under. Flexing your foot. Somebody... If it's your right leg that's forward, somebody on your right side is going to call your name. So your toes are going to go to the right, hips to the left. What do you need? The dog has to be walked? The dog pee on the floor again? Charlie. <laughs> Full deep breaths. We're really opening through that IT band, giving it space. And we'll come right back to center. And 
opening up through the hip flexor. From here, we can go ahead and come to all fours. Let's go ahead and come to the back. Okay. Ah, this is good, right? <laughs> Let's bring your knees into your chest. Take your arms out to the sides. You're going to take your knees up and over to the left. Now, let's say that your spine is really tight and you can't come all the way down. What you could do is to take a pillow, a block, or come really close to the wall so that you can come out. You're going to twist, but it's not too much. Or maybe you can bring that bottom leg down. The top leg doesn't want to come. You can bring your uh, prop in between your legs. And that feels nice. It could be that you take your legs further away from you. You're gonna feel it more in the upper back. If you bring your legs closer to your arm, you're gonna feel it more in the lower back. Where do you need it most? Full deep breaths. Try to keep your shoulders connected to the earth. And even here, reach your armpit and your hip away from each other. Scoop your table in order to come back up. You're going to come up and over to the right. And again, same thing. If it's just too much to bring your legs down towards the floor, don't worry about it. We can always change. Yoga is not about I have to land this perfect pose. It's about working with your body, with where you are. It's that journey into the pose. You don't ever have to come all the way down. Remember, you can take your legs out away from you. It's going to be more in the middle upper back. If you bring your knees up closer towards your arms, it's going to be more for the lower back. Where do you need it most? Full deep breaths. Think about trying to reach your hip and your armpit away from each other. Maybe even take your hand to your hip and push it away and try to pull the flesh from your rib up to your armpit. It's so different. You're gonna slowly come all the way back to center, releasing your feet to the floor. Now, from here, we're still kind of working the lateral a little bit. Let's just take your feet wider than the mat. Come up on your tiptoes, and you're just gonna rock your knees to the right. Your left hip bone is gonna reach out like you're pointing with it. Scoop your table under, try to pull your left side towards the earth. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, over to the left. So from here, your right hip bone is going to reach out. Scoop your table under, try to pull your uh, right side towards the earth. So I'm just going to go from side to side with the breath. We'll inhale and exhale. And you can go as slow as you like. all the way back to center. Last, last, last thing before our final relaxation. We're going to come into banana asana. Okay. Now this is not the best, best angle, but it will make it work. I want you to extend your legs out. Your arms come up and overhead. Can you grab hold of your elbows here? Imagine that your hips are cemented. They can't move with you. So you're going to take your feet, let's take them over to the right, off of your mat. Now, if we just stay here, your legs are going to separate even further. So let's take your left ankle, cross it over the right. But that left hip, we want it to drop back down towards the floor. Upper body lifts, take it over to the right. So from the ceiling, if anybody had a camera looking down, it would create the shape of a banana, banana asana, or, or a check mark, or a smile. So what's happening is we're opening up through the entire lateral chain here. You might feel it from your knee to your elbow. Let your left hip get so heavy dropping towards the earth. Full deep breaths, oxygenating the muscles, 
And again, we want to stay here for at least a minute. And we're not just targeting the muscles, but the fascia. In yin yoga, when we hold it for a good amount of time, we, get, we target the muscle, the fascia, and even the joint begins to feel that release. Let's take two more breaths here. The breath we also use as a prop. So when we inhale, we expand the side body. Not just top and bottom, but the side. And then when we exhale, completely surrendering. Bring your upper body back to center. Uncross your legs. This is a big difference. Once you snow angel your arms around, bend your knees, bringing your feet to the floor. Go ahead and grab hold of your legs. I just want you to make a circle one way. Oh my gosh. One side of the body feels so much different than the other. It's amazing. It's two people in one body. You're going to release your feet back down. Extend your legs. I can't wait for this next part. So good. <laughs> so you're going to take your arms again up and over. Now, bend your elbows. Probably your dominant hand is um, grabbing hold of your non-dominant arm, and it's the one that's on top. So I want you to switch so that your non-dominant arm is the forearm that's on top. You're going to walk your feet to the left. Don't let your hips come with you. And you go as far as you can. If we just stay here, your feet will open. That's okay if that's the best for you. But we might cross your left ankle over the, sorry, your right ankle over the left leg. Let your right hip get heavy. So you're locking your feet together. Lift your upper half. Take it over. Walk your shoulders, taking everything over to the left as far as you can. Let your right hip drop. And again, that lateral chain opens. You could feel it just around the hip. You could feel it just at the side, the waist. Or you could feel it from your knee to the elbow. It just depends. Full deep breaths opening through the side body. I love working the lateral chain. There's something about just opening through the side body that just makes you happy. It's almost like a back bend, but it's the side. You're creating more space in between your ribs. The intercostal muscles expand so that your heart can just kind of peek, peek through your ribs. Like, hi, I love you. And again, we're just working on staying here for a minute. And you can stay longer if you want to. But a minute is usually good. Take two more breaths here. So we'll inhale and expand in all directions, especially the side. And as you exhale, you sink back down, feeling the length, the side body open a little bit further. One more breath, we're going to inhale. Feeling that space and exhale. Reaching the arm to the hip again, away from one another. And lifting through the pelvic floor. And you take your upper body back onto the mat. Uncross your legs, walking them back onto the mat. Oh, it's so different. Uncrossing your arms, bend your knees, bring your feet back to the mat. Now, which way did you circle before? If you can remember, we'll try to go the opposite way this time. Oh, it's so different. So from here, we can choose to come into Shavasana, our final relaxation. Um, you can bring your legs up to the couch, to the wall. You can keep your feet on the floor a little bit wider than your hips. Let your knees fall together. You can extend your legs all the way out, allowing your feet to fall open. Arms alongside the body, palms face up. Maybe walk your shoulder blades together. Allowing the weight of the body to drop down into the earth. What do you notice now about that lateral chain? Feels 
feels like we did something. Absolutely. You're more aware of your sides. And though we think of um, healthy backs as, well, your back is as strong as your core. Well, that's not just the front of the body. It's the side, too. So everything you did today is to strengthen the torso while we create length. So you're actually beginning to do more good for your back. Stabilizing muscles, balancing muscles. So not just on your yoga mat balancing, but when you're running around. Any other activity, it becomes a little bit better. Full deep breath. Letting your scalp fall back away from the skull. Allowing your forehead to soften. The muscles of the face melt back into the earth. Separate the back row of teeth. And imagine that your ears are being pulled into the earth. Growing long and wide like Dumbo ears. The heavier we allow the skull to become, the lighter and more ease the neck finds. Allow your shoulders and upper back to sink into the earth. Do you feel the length and weight of the arms anchored at your forearms and your knuckles? And there's a softness at the armpit. And we feel that side body soften and lengthen. Your hips are so heavy, melting into the earth. Bottom is heavy. And we can feel the length and the weight of the legs tethered at the calf muscles, your heels. And notice the softness, the palms, the soles of the feet, bringing your awareness in between your fingers and in between your toes. of your breath rising all the way to the top light hover and then it falls into the exhalation emptying the body hovering at the bottom and then the inhalation grows from the bottom of the exhalation creating this beautiful loop And I invite you to stay here for about five to 10 more minutes. Really focusing on your side body. Everything that you've done in this practice. Thank you, thank you for joining in and hope you have a beautiful rest of your day with length, peace, and joy. Namaste.